Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is our last video before the final release of the Great Guitar Build-Off Build, which is happening on Friday, September the 4th, and which I'm really hoping is going to be ready because I went partially insane this past weekend and took the entire finish off. Anyway, today we're going to cover a few things. First of all, Crimson sent me, well, some more stuff, and importantly, some of the hardware that I need for this build. So that's finally come in, which means uh, it's only my own fault if I don't get this thing finished. And we've got a couple other things to cover as well. I think uh, this is also kind of the last opportunity for some trash talk before the videos actually come out. So now might be a good time for me to kind of finish that part up. Let's start with a quick update on the hardware that you guys already know about. We talked about all of the hardware that I was going to be using essentially. Uh, I've got some really cool stuff to show you from what Crimson sent me, but first, we talked about these ferrules that I'm putting in that have kind of this heat treated look, heat treated steel, and uh, whether I could find other stuff to match. And I did take a quick crack at getting my knobs to match, trying to heat treat them. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen the result of this. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So I was going for kind of the uh, rainbow look and instead I kind of got, um, well, it, yeah. I think this thing is mostly lead. It definitely melted. This is why we test things, I guess. Uh, so my knobs will not match. Uh, I think they're gonna be black, probably. Anyway, thought I'd spoil that surprise for you. Another quick spoiler, since I might throw spoilers into the title of this video to make people actually watch it. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this. In the last video, the last video video, we did an actual spoiler where I showed you part of the pick guard that was being involved in this build. Here's the other part. What do you think? Wait until you see it on the guitar. Uh, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it on the guitar. But not the finished guitar, of course. Just the raw version. So, yeah, it should be good. Now, I probably shouldn't be trash talking because, like I just said, I did something crazy, like, just now, pretty much. And, uh, and am now concerned about my ability to actually finish this thing on time. What I should have done is what Big D did and made it so that, you know, if I don't get this build done for some reason, I'll, like, I can pull any one of my other ones and nobody would be able to tell the difference. Just kidding. But it's still funny, right? On the bright side, it's only the finish that I have to redo. I think Ben has to re-glue his entire guitar together, so... <laughs> yeah, he's probably in a worse spot than me on that. Although, he can actually spend his days doing this. It's not just a hobby for him, so that's gonna be helpful, right? I mentioned last time that if you win my guitar, it doesn't come with a lock of my hair, kind <laughs> of just as a joke. Uh, but wow, have you guys seen Matt with his hair down lately? He looks like... Well, Jesus. I mean, I'm just waiting for the video where he tries to turn Coors Light into wine which is probably easier than turning it into actual beer. I still don't know what Phil's up to or Jimmy DeResta, so we'll have to wait and see if my predictions from before are anywhere near correct on those guys. Hopefully Tamar remembers to put some change in her piggy bank guitar so she can play the guitar and like the tambourine slash rattle at the same time. And I don't know what Dan's doing either, but it'll definitely be interesting to see whatever he created that required him to make his own neck pocket and to find out what tools he used for it. I don't know. I'm sure he keeps some tricks in that van that he lives in. I guess the motto should be the sky's the limit when the sky is also the roof of your shop. Anyway, let's unbox what Crimson sent me here. I was waiting for pickups and a bridge from them. I know I have those. Let's get on this. All right, so I've already kind of unpackaged this and packed it back up. We'll get to these in a minute. So I've got pretty standard bridge here. Looks good. Yep. Won't be, uh, won't be breaking any strings on that, so that's going to be good. I'm going to have to drill through one of the guards that you saw in my previous video for this. That won't be a problem. I've got the screws for it, of course. They have also sent me a couple of t-shirts, it would seem. Let's see here. Very nice. Now these are large, so this is going to give definitely an opportunity to make fun of me for all of those who... I like to say that my shirts are too small, even though they're from years ago. Oh, that, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Interesting. Okay, is there anything on the back? Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, see, see if I can find an opportunity to wear one of those. Maybe right now. There we go. So for those of you who like to say, Brad, why do you wear a youth small t-shirt in your videos all the time? I'm wearing a large this time. On a related note, this is a funny thing to do while I'm wearing a Crimson Guitars t-shirt. I have t-shirts now. They are down below the video, presumably, or if you're on a phone, they're probably off to the left. Uh, anyway, 
they're around here somewhere. And go guitarist t-shirts and BA t-shirts. Check them out. There's a little less going on on them than this one, uh, but still creating more designs and always on the lookout for cool ideas. So if you have any, let me know. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of this unboxing because I'm too lazy to change back into my Costco t-shirt. Let's take a look at what came in, I'm sure you can guess, this awesome box. That's beautiful, like really slick packaging. Let's get a close up. Nothing quite like a couple of classic hookers, hey? Oh boy, okay. Damn. I really like what they've done here. Is this, oh yeah, they got some uh, nice red felt lining that too. They're pretty. All right, can't wait to see if those will work with the freeway switch that I selected. Really hope so. Looks like, I took them out, looks like they've got enough wire, so it should be good, uh, I think. I still need to figure out that switch, but I need to finish, the, well, the finish first. So let's talk about that a little more, just for fun. I toyed around with a lot of ideas when coming up with the finish for this guitar, and, you know, a lot of you probably had some expectations about what I may or may not do, and I, well, I kind of try to take my own advice on the just because you can doesn't mean that you should thing, which I'm probably going to make a t-shirt of now because I've said it so many times for this contest. But anyway, I started kind of down that road, uh, maybe not quite, got to the end. It looked good, uh, but just not what I wanted. I think it's probably going to upset a few people what I did. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I had essentially a glossy finish on this thing, and that's about all I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, I had your typical kind of glossy uh, uniform look, and I thought to myself, well, you know, I've got this piece of ash, it's really cool wood, it's got an awesome green pattern, and although you can still see it, I can kind of give that away because it doesn't matter, I took that off. Although you can still see it, you can't really see any of the texture or anything, and it just didn't seem like the right use of this particular guitar body. So I've made some changes. That probably tells you a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, make sure you tune in on Friday and check it out. And if you can, pick up a raffle ticket for it or several. You might win it. And the worst case scenario, if you don't, you're helping support my charity that I've chosen, which is the Stollery Children's Hospital here in Edmonton. Great cause, uh, important to me, and I would appreciate it. And I've been harping on this since the beginning. But again, I highly encourage everyone to uh, pick up raffle tickets for all of the builds if you can even if it's not your favorite I mean first of all it gives you a chance to win it that never hurts and second you're supporting a good cause check out the causes that we've all chosen they're all great uh, they're all important to the builders who have selected them so if you're able to help support them if not hey just watch the videos and enjoy it's gonna be good especially if I get mine done on that note uh, I'm gonna get back to it so Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And remember to subscribe so that you can see the final build when it's done, uh, which I'm hoping will be only a few short days from now. Thanks again, guys. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Hashtag Wonder Break Guitars.